Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new planet. Today with a game called Raid World War 2. Yes, we're going to raid the entirety of World War 2 and we're gonna pillage and plunder. It'll be fun, it'll be amazing and the, the guy in the middle sort of had a mustache in the um, in the cinematic. Uh, he does seem to have one in the, in the picture. But there's Jean Cleese and that makes up for everything. So what's this game? It is a game made by a studio called The Lion Game Lion. I don't know why it has two lions in it. Maybe two lions, two lion games were taken or something. It's published by Starbreeze and this is basically payday in World War II. So it's it's payday, but with enemies you feel less bad about completely and utterly murdering by the millions. Let's go to the options first, and uh, I'll uh, I'll direct your attention to this option here that is absolutely lying. See, use camera acceleration effects sort of makes you believe that is this could this be by any chance view Bob? Well, it may be, it may not be, I don't know, because it doesn't seem to actually do anything and View Bob is still active in game, so it be... If you've got problems with um, motion sickness, this game may cause it. It may absolutely cause it. More advanced options include a frame limiter, which you can set to be anything you want. I set it 75 because, you know, free sync and hey, 75 hertz monitor. You have um, V-Sync, which you can turn on and off. You have a flush GPU, which I'm not sure what it does. Also have motion blur, which I turned off because it's horrible. And uh, sort of angelizing mode, and uh, what I don't see here is a, a, a method for removing the um, the V net effect. It's it's sort of squarish in shape and kind of annoying. Also, I enable alien uh, light effects, even though I don't actually have a compatible keyboard. The GamDS one does have a, um, uh, a software interface for the um, lighting, but doesn't it doesn't hook up to games. So, let's get into the proper granularity of the game. Like we can play offline or online. The game, by the way, is going to be out in, on the 26th of, of September and it's going to cost 37 bucks, uh, 37 euros or 40 bucks. I'm going to play offline because it seems to take quite a lot of time for it to load online. Also, I don't plan on playing with other people because other people would complicate things. They, the people complicate matters in this kind of show unless they make it, I don't know, funnier, better. It also connects a lot, a lot slower in the multiplayer. Now, if you're... Uh, if you just, by the way, the uh, the game is still free. Like if you're seeing this on Sunday, the game is still free to play. Well, if if you're um if you're an owner of Payday 2, it's still available. And uh, this is the sniper character. This is the one well, I'm going to show the glasses. But uh, one thing you may notice is that when you start the game, you don't have the scope. See, the game doesn't tell you little details like, hey, do you want a scope? Okay, then then go to this bench. See, go to this bench. God damn it, go to this bench. Why did? Okay, go to this bench, press F, I press D because I changed the thing, and click this. Without the scope, it's useless. With the scope, it's less useless. With the scope, it's a ranged weapon. Without the scope, it's a less ranged weapon. And that's the basic idea. You can upgrade your weapons here by, you know, um, gaining levels or uh, doing things like killing 250 enemies for um, stuff. Uh, and I'm gonna get into it right now with this game um this seems to be one of those games where upgrades don't mean anything i mean yeah three damage out of 23 okay that'll work magazine five out of ten yeah that this is absolutely categorical this is a superb upgrade. this actually it makes sense and the up, it's an upgrade is superb amazing yeah well you'll definitely feel it 100 plus five five out of a hundred that's not an upgrade, that's goddamn filler. That entire thing, and I only get 10 plus, plus 10 to stability out of 100. That, why? Like, when they make these kinds of upgrade reads for weapons, you just, you kind of wonder, why not just have ideas? Like, anyone that would be better. Also, you have, um, well, upgrades that you can uh, set into your... Uh, character. I currently don't have a level 2 so I can't get any of these like juggler that um, reduces the time to switch between weapons, the mounted gunner that uh, uh, comes press fire, nothing beats the weapon, reduce the rate of the rate of fire, uh, yeah I can reduce it, okay so it doesn't overheat so much, move fast, shoot fast, reduce the time ready uh, after spinning weapon and you know we got all, we got all sorts of these um, upgrades. I believe the final version may have more uh, of the game because uh, you basically just have 5 levels worth of upgrades, so why have them? Also, in general, why have them at all? 
if they're going to be just these, like, I hope it's not just this, because if it's just this, then it's going to be horrible. Like, my God, that, that, that's all you have. Wow, that's that's pathetic. But you do have multiple classes. I'm going to get to that in a moment right here. Here you can change your classes. For example, I have currently two characters with different classes in use. It's the same character. It's, it's the sterling British person with the mustache that is sometimes not rendered properly, but he has one. I assure you he does. I have him as the recon and also as the crimson friendly man, which is an insurgent who has an SMG. And each of these characters, I'm going to show them to you now, has a different kind of ability. For example, this guy has auto aim, meaning that when um, when I activate my ultimate ability, because you have ultimate because of you know Overwatch and MOBAs, uh, when you activate that ability, you will get uh, what is this uh, a sort of auto aim? You will see the out red outline of the enemy and you'll just pretty much snap to them and kill them with the best possible shot. Like, if you're using this weapon, yeah, you will headshot them and kill them. If you're using a pistol, they will not die in one shot. Assault raiders are tough. You also have descriptions like... In all forms of infantry combat. Yeah. You've got all your descriptions for each character, except for the first one, because it doesn't load, uh, the um, the description doesn't play when you first uh, load the screen. Also, they are different, like, uh, for the characters at least, you have different, um, well, um, you have several different uh, lines that the character, that I believe Miss White will tell them to you, they will, uh, it has a bit of character in the game, and it's a very nice touch. This is just all class that can use SMGs and LMGs, and uh, somehow re uh, uses less ammo. Don't know how. Uh, it's magic. He can also heal the entire team, because he's an assault class, that, that's what people that kill people do, they, they're healers. The insurgent is a Russian guy with a pyro mask or a mute mask or smoke mask, uh, depending if you like Team Fortress or Rainbow Six Siege. He, his ability is um, becoming harder to hit. He also moves faster by default. And you have the Demo Man, who is a German. Uh, grenade explosive, grenade explosive multiple times because, you know, grenades do that. Uh, he also gains one grenade when activated. An entire enemy team becomes more resistant to damage while active. So we're not going to pick anyone. But again, you can you can customize them uh, exactly how you want. So you can have different character. You can have a different class with a uh, different character. So you're not you're not set in stone to have just one uh, stereotypical. Oh, I am the I'm the British bombs expert. No, you can be anything. It's 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 a diversity thing. It's not what the, it's funny to say that we get little piece is it'll, it'll upset people. So let's get into actual mission, an actual mission, and I'll show you basically what you have to do in this game. Actually, I'm going to show it to you now. See, this is where you store your Nazi gold, and you can upgrade this place to actually look a bit less depressing. It's sort of like uh, the bunker you, the bunker, the hideout you had in Payday 2. Only this one actually has something useful in it. Like you have these cards, which which you haven't unlocked any of them yet for some reason. I thought I would by now. Uh, they let you customize your missions by adding different kind of um, uh, modifiers that make the uh, the encounter harder or easier, but it's a nice thing. This is where you go into the server lobby, which I don't have active because I'm in offline mode. I showed you the... Um, oh yeah, the character progression screen. I showed you that too. Uh, this is an old piano that's broken down. This is where you sleep. Well, you don't sleep, that's just what creates there to look like it's a Base. Okay, so let's get into a, um, a map. There's two missions available in this beta. One of them requires you to kill everybody, and the other one is to attack a, um, a base of an airship and blow it up. I finished one of these missions. I played one of them twice, actually. I'm gonna pick this one, Odin's Hall, because it's, it's, I feel it's a bit more representative of what the game was aiming to do. So let's start this up. Mission selected, and let's go to the uh, exit area. See, I, I like their attempts to give these characters personalities. It does a much better job than Payday did, where the characters had different names but were completely interchangeable. I mean, they were for the part of the game that I played it. They probably added something to it with all the bajillion DLCs they had and the microtransactions that they promised they won't have, but they did. Okay, so let's go into the game. 
Uh, the uh, the maps do take a while to load in, in online mode. They take a while to load because there's a synchronization in place too. But in uh, in offline, they seem to load quite fast, so it's not really that much of a problem. Okay, uh, something that you may know. I'm not sure if you know this, this actually. Well, the game is running currently at 56 frames a second, which if this is a game that runs at 56 frames a second, and I I really don't know why I'm hoping for other games to run better. It's, uh, I think it's because I'm gonna turn off the AA. The AA doesn't look all that great in this game. Advanced options. Okay. Saving. Applied. It's running two frames a second better. I don't think that setting actually. No, I can see the jagged edges now better, but. Uh, I didn't do anything! My god, is it badly optimized. And honestly, it used to work better, like when I first played it. Okay, so here's how it goes. We're gonna have to blow up that thing. And we have, like this guy said, we have two options. We go in quiet, or we go in loud. If you go in loud, or at any point it gets loud, you cannot go back to being quiet. You're gonna have to get used to being loud. Being oh my god, I set it to normal. I set it to normal, okay. Playing it quiet in normal mode is not gonna be easy because there's a lot more guards and a lot more chance of being spotted. But here's the thing about this game. If you play it like a normal self like a normal self game, you will fail absolutely because oh god damn it, shut up already. Okay, remember the thing I said about personality? Shut up now. I'm playing. I should have really not gotten well I had to get them with me because if I didn't um, and this thing got hot I would have died on account there being ways and ways of enemies but what I was going to say is that if you play this like a normal stealth game you'll lose because in a normal stealth game you sort of expect things like enemies to hear you if you run close to them how do I keep hearing you from this all the way up here So like I said, you expect enemies to see you when you run past them. You expect enemies to be a bit more intelligent. You expect enemies to not be idiots. And the enemies in this game are absolute idiots. So you're going to have to play this game as if they were idiots. Now. Oh, God damn it, shut up already. Actually, my character is talking too, so shut up too. Now, to solve this mission via stealth, I'm going to have to find a bunker that has a door on it. And get that door open via picklock. Shut up already, I'm trying to think. Okay, not there. Okay, no door there. Thing is that the... The one with the door, the, the bunker with the door is randomized in every mission. So you're not sure which one's gonna be. Now, if it's the one right next to the entrance, then yeah, actually um, doing it stealth is quite a lot easier. But if it's somewhere in a very, 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 very far away in a single place, you may have a bit of trouble getting there. But I'm going to try and get there uh, nonetheless, because I, I, I at least want, want to avoid the... Oh, god damn it, shut up. There's If there's an option to make them shut up, I'm going to use it right now, because they are absolutely... Can, can I... Will this turn them down? I hope that turned on because they are annoying when they talk over me. Do not talk over me. Okay, now they're still talking, but I can hear them, so it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Okay. How did, how did, can he see me? Oh yeah, he saw me through the, uh, the little notches in the crate. And now there's this guy. So I'm going to have to make a break for one of the other... Ah, oh, goddammit, I'm going to be trapped between these guys. I can kill one of them, but I'm not sure exactly how much noise they'll make. And they saw me. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, there goes. No, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try and do stealth again. This time I'm gonna set it easy because you do not want to play this game on normal. For a simple reason that it is, it is annoying as hell on normal. It is. You're gonna see. I'm gonna try and do at least part of a mission on normal, on easy, in stealth mode, and then we'll go into the shooting things until they die stuff because we have no other choice. Ah, oh, damn it, I clicked again. Easy and bring the enemy EDIA with me. Okay, that should do it. Come on, you loads. Come on. Come on. 
Okay, let's go. They don't actually have to go into the start. I turned off your voice earlier in the menu. You forgot, didn't you? You forgot. You forgot. The game forgot, people. The game always forgets. Okay, so let's try this again. Maybe this time with a bit more uh, success in the stealth mechanics. And I want to get trapped behind those uh, crates. Okay, different spawn, spawn position. We're at the front entrance. And let's see if uh, the front entrance is the one with the door. It's not the one with the door, so it's I'm gonna have to run around a bit and actually try and find the... And there's a guy that can see me over there. I can't open this door. Okay, there's a guy there. Did they see me? That guy? Oh, God damn it! there's a guy over there. Maybe I can knife him. Okay, they didn't see. I can actually take bodies and hide them, which I'm going to try and do now. But I move very, very, very slowly and the guy behind me may actually see me and blow my cover. But I'm going to try and dump him down here. Hopefully that helped. Yeah, I got to the yellow. Thing is, when you're when you're not facing the enemy, you don't see exactly how well they see you, but you know they see you. It's a bit annoying. Okay, hiding here. Maybe it's this bunker. Nope, not this one either. It's it's the one that's right at the other entrance when we started in the last mission. Okay. Wish we could actually run faster and well run more in this game. Like honestly, I can sprint more than the soldier can. But at least he's quiet when he's running. He can run very, very, very quietly. Is it safe here? Yeah, there's a guy there. There's a door. I'm gonna try and lockpick that door. Hopefully it'll work. He's still in the yellow zone. I'm gonna try and run up all the way up here. And voila. Gonna wait until this guy turns around. Hopefully in no, he can still he can shouldn't be able to see me. And this is the lockpicking minigame. It's not that difficult. Ah oh, god damn it. Well, spoke too soon. Ah oh, damn it, I was so close. And voila. I wanted to do this because otherwise you would have spent like two minutes, three minutes, five minutes just shooting waves and waves and waves and waves of Nazis waiting for that door to be opened by other means. And I really I really don't want to get into that just now. Like I will soon. You're gonna see it. It's in unavoidable unavoidable. Let's get ready to next step some bastard in the crotch. See people? Stabbing people in the crotch is deadly, and that guy somehow saw me, and heard me, and... Did they just sound the whole alarm? I'm gonna have to turn back the audio now, because I don't have a choice, do I? Just make it a bit lower. Because I can't even hear the Germans when they... How did you guys get in here? I have no idea, but I'm glad I did. So. Now we can just mount this thing and kill the Nazis. Now, if we had run, run the alarm, uh, set up the alarm earlier, we would have uh, basically been in the same situation, but we would have been outside, not in the bunker. It would have been a lot less fun. The problem with this game is that it's designed by people who do not understand why co-op, heist, or games like these are fun. They're made by people who think that, oh, you know what the best part of Payday was? It was standing in one place, waiting for the drill to finish, and being assaulted by 5 million cops that beha behaved exactly like zombies with no AI, and with progressively more ludicrous hit points and resistances and stuff that made them really, really annoying to play against. That, that's, that's in a nutshell. It, it's like it's made by the people that believe that hiding in a, uh, in a closet in uh, Left 4 Dead and shooting a bajillion zombies in the face was, was the only thing that that game was good for. Also made by people who do not understand that doors can be closed. So I'm gonna show you the, um, the thing here, my special ability. Well, I would show it to it, but okay, now it's snapped. It doesn't snap in melee range, which makes sense. But yeah, that, that was it, basically. I think it's better suited for when you... When you have, when you don't have the scope, but the scope is not removable in the field. Also, what I wanted to say is that um, 
to you the game may be a bit dark but since my monitor lets me very very easily change the black levels I set them to the minimum possible potential so I will actually be able to see where I'm going and where I'm shooting because otherwise I will not be able to see anything in this game see that guy was looking the other way because he maybe thought saw me there one more killing these guys is absolutely pointless because there is an infinite number of them they are literally infinite they are a horde of never-ending nazis it's it's like a nightmare and not in a good way by the way they mentioned yeah it's horrible it is at least they can save you when you get knocked down they can they can actually pick you up so it's uh I think I think that wasn't actually possible in Payday. Once you went down or in uh no when you die permanently. Oh my god, I beheaded guy. Well, this thing has beheadings at least. It's something. Now because it's uneasy, we don't have um I don't think there are special enemies on easy. I'm gonna do a normal uh the next mission on normal so I can show you these special enemies. Oh, by the way, uh, this door, um were it not uh an alarm, I would just pick it. But now I have to plant a bomb on it. Okay. Now we're going to have to wait for a timer. And guard this area. This, this is the basic gameplay loop. You put, some, you put a thing on a thing. And then you wait a minute or so. And kill Nazis while you're waiting. Because that, that's the whole gameplay loop. There's, there's nothing else to it. Just have to wait for the Nazis to come and kill them it. It doesn't feel like a good polished game so far in terms of design or in terms of, you know, anything else, like visuals. Like I said, the characterization is a bit, it's kind of okay for the characters, though they can get a bit talkative at some times. If you were to tell me that this was a mod made for a game back in 2006, yeah, I would have believed it absolutely, because it, it looks like a mod made for a game in 2006. Oh, okay, to be fair, 2008, okay? 2008, like when the uh, when the other Wolfenstein game came out, the the one that no one liked. Yeah, if if this was a mod for that game, yeah, I I would get it because that game also had infantry respawning Nazis that just took the fun out of everything. Because what's the point when you, of killing them when there's just gonna be more of them constantly, non-stop? Let's see, are we gonna find any Nazi gold in here? No, it's health. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, you will find from time to time these dog tags, which will give you an experience boost. Nothing here. More dog tags. Okay, let's go upstairs. Let's throw a grenade. No, that's not a grenade button. Where's the grenade button? Four. Four. Oh no, it's three. Three is the grenade button. Okay. See, they're not over overly bright. And you you basically throw like a sissy. You throw grenades like an absolute sissy. And the AI has that that tendency to just vault over things for no reason they will non-stop vault over things like you'll see them vault in unison using the same animation like just drop down right in front i'm gonna show you that bit because i'm i'm absolutely certain i'm gonna see it and why is this am i gonna have to do that thing again with the uh with the gasoline because if you couldn't pick the lock on the um on the bunker you had to use gasoline to flush them out which kind of makes you wonder, why didn't they just throw out the gasoline? Okay, let's mount this. I don't think there's friendly fire, so it's okay. Not like here. Let's pick this. Nothing useful. Oh, well, actually, ammo is useful because you will run out of it quite quickly. Can't, can't go in there. By the way, you'll, you'll okay, see, they do this non-stop. Why not just shoot me from up there, you goddamn idiot? Who taught you? Who taught you not seeing, honestly? You're a horrible Nazi. And I mean that as not a very good one. And I mean that by inefficient. You're an inefficient Nazi. Because saying a bad Nazi, that's like saying it's it's a wet rain. It's the same thing. And now I have to guard this thing. Uh, instead of, you know, pulling off the, the, um, the valve. Now, why would I suggest pulling off the valve so they couldn't turn off? Well, because the next thing you do after you guard this thing is pulling off the valve so they can't turn it off. It's, it's kind of annoying. Also, when they turn it off, why don't they just pull the valve as well so I can't turn it back on again? So, you know, they'll force me to do something else. There's also a crowbar that you can collect from somewhere around here, but I haven't figured out how to use it or on what. I think you're supposed to be able to open crates that contain gold, but I haven't found them yet. 
Maybe I'll find them in this run. I haven't found them in the past previous three ones. Though to be fair, I wasn't really looking. But now I'm gonna be looking. I'm gonna be out look, looking out for it. I'm gonna die already. Look, by the way, uh, if you're wondering if I'm just breezing through this because it's unnormal, no. It's an easy no. Um, the AI does not change on normal. The AI behaves exactly the same, but they're on normal, there are about three times more enemies. Three to four times more enemies, and they will spawn with uh, with officers, which do a lot of damage, and with the occasional uh, special unit like the Flammenwerfer that verse Flammen at you, he'll verse that Flammen right in your face, and it will hurt for a while. Okay, I'm gonna get this, that healing thing now, uh, which I left in one of these crates, because I may need it. We should actually move up, but uh, again, uh, where is that healing thing? Okay. We should move up because the enemies will just keep spawning at infinity. They will never stop. Ever. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Oh, and the enemies sometimes have bulletproof um, bulletproof hats. Like you can shoot them in the face. And all you do is ruffle their hat. It's kind of annoying. Let's turn this on. Then guard this as well. Why did you do? Okay, you jumped to your death because you better rather die by your own accord than by my hand. I can respect that. What do you mean they're summoning us? Well, shoot them! They're right next to you! Like I said, EA is absolutely worthless on both sides. It is horrible. Oh, and uh, did I mention something about doors? Yeah. Uh, this, this, you can't go in here. So you can't hide in the closet. It's, I don't know why that is there. Mostly to annoy me, I'm guessing. That's usually why developers make things to annoy me. Uh, can we open this? Well, stop them from stopping the gas. It's that simple. Okay, they didn't stop it. I'm going to go back up here and see what I can... Oh, that's the uh, LMG. 13 seconds. Are they stopping it again? They're trying to. Well, he tried valiantly and failed like a dumbass. Or a Nazi, same thing. Oh, look at the AI, it's so amazing. Okay, let's break this off. And it's not that Waves zombie shooters are bad, but they're bad when they're badly done, when they're badly made. Okay, they moved it. It's not here anymore. Oh, come on, die already. Where's the last one? Okay, we came from down here. More of them downstairs. Not gonna go there then. Last one's... Oh, they moved the last one up here. I'm actually gonna go in and uh, loot some stuff because I need more ammo. Oh, can't go in there either because there's a no-go zone. Yes, it's fiddly. Open the crate. No Nazi gold yet. One more dog tag. Like I said, this gives you an experience bonus. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I found the thing with the crowbar. I'm gonna have to find the crowbar now. Where is the crowbar? Where would be... If I were a crowbar, where would I be? Where would I be if I were a crowbar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The crowbar, I know, I know. I want to steal stuff, so I'm looking for a crowbar right now. So it's a bit of a pause in the gameplay loop as I search for a crowbar. Maybe it was downstairs... Let's see here. No, I missed. No more grenades, which is good. Who doesn't love a good grenade? More ammo, though I kind of have it full. You can only have 50 bullets on you, which is kind of a shame. Come on, reload it faster. Okay, that's full. Uh, downstairs, maybe. Hmm... If I were a crowbar, what would I be? Now, sometimes I find the crowbar inside. Sometimes I find, a, I find the crowbar outside. I have to make sure I actually find it. See, the AI is just worthless. Again, this isn't because it's uneasy. It does the same thing on medium. But there's more of them on medium. More, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot more. Not here, not here. Okay, so I'm hoping the crowbar is going to be somewhere upstairs. I'm hoping. Maybe. It'll be. Did I find... Oh, yeah, there is. No, I found it. I found it. Yes. Found the crowbar. 
Why I can't carry one with me in combat, I'm not sure. Maybe because uh, the game wants me to do some exploring. Not that the levels are, levels are all that interesting. They're kind of bad. Okay, where was that thing? Upstairs? Up, oh yeah, up, up here. And I'm out of stamina again. Look at the Nazis, how well they group together and fight as a unit. Oh, the tactics, the tactics. Oh, it's just ammo. That was Nazi gold. It's just worthless ammo. I already had ammo. I can't even take a bandolier with me to carry more of it. It's sad. But not as sad as it used to be before I... Oh my god, yeah. They have scripting. See, that was a scripted event. Oh my god, this is so action-packed. Still, it's not as sad as it was before I activated the black light, uh, the black level uh, thing illumination. I put the scope on this thing because when you zoom in without the scope, you have a, um, a depth of field effect. See, it doesn't actually clarify the image in front of me. So the guy in front is more blurred now that I'm zooming in than he was when I was not zooming in, which is kind of stupid. It was more stupid with this weapon without the scope. It's... There is no way to disable that... Uh, what the hell? Why don't you die? Who performed... Oh, 35 more HS and I get a prize. Stand still so I can get a prize. Uh, I'm gonna have to reload. So like I said, without that scope, the weapon is mostly useless because you can disable that... Um, the depth of field effect. Which is annoying as hell. Also don't have lean. So if you're planning on leaning on things, well, it's not balanced for that. Come on, stand still. Also, can't pick up their weapons. If you're wondering, you're just stuck with the ones you have. They can upgrade the ones you have, but still, you're stuck with them. Look, he's he's trying to ch- And you're not stopping him. You weren't stopping him at all, were you? You were not. You have a command wheel, well... You have a wheel that's... That lets you give commands to, uh other players, but not to, these, not to the AI, I believe. Let's test it out. I don't wait there. Oh my god, they're actually waiting? No, they're not. They're not. For a second there, I got excited. I'm sorry. I should know better than to get excited in games like this. Or in general. See? You're gonna see that jumping animation constantly because that's all they do. They jump down from things and die like idiots. At least they have sometimes nice set animations. Like they jump and die. Oh, I suppose break this off. And now we go to kill the um, the main thing. Performance again is kind of horrible for a game that's made in 2008 because I previously believe this is a 2017 game. Oh my god, it's not. It's it's not made by a big studio. I can appreciate that, but honestly, try better. You have better engines than the payday engine. So honestly, they, they did they did make a, an effort of uh, actually removing stuff that was annoying in Payday, like the chromatic aberrations, and they replaced them with uh, overarching darkness and that uh, effect of vignette that's kind of annoying and uh, thankfully isn't all that visible when you turn up the the brightness of the monitor to the maximum, which is a good thing. Okay, now we're supposed to find some shells and shoot that thing out of the air. Uh, I'm actually going to look for some health. Would be nice if my ally would deploy his healing ability, but he won't because he, the AI does not do that. Any crates around here? No crates, sadly. We have to blow up that thing, by the way. That's our main mission. Maybe there is a crate here. Okay, maybe there is. Oh, there is no. Uh, there no health. Uh, where would if I have, if I were some health, where would I hide? There is another dog tag. We'll get more experience for this. One more crowbar, so there was one upstairs, so there is multiple crowbars, so we can, all of us, we can get one. More of this. Open army crate, come on, give me, oh yes, health, no. Yeah, that was health. Big health. Biggie, big health. Can I open this? Yes, I can open this. Maybe this is where the Nazi gold is hidden. Ah, damn it, give me the Nazi gold, I need it. I'm like Switzerland, I need it. I can't live without it. No, I missed it again. Okay, so still no gold. Then yeah, let's get the shell. Let's get the shell out of here. Let's get the shell out of here. I'm gonna switch the pistol again, for reasons unknown to me. Oh, by the way, uh, if you start running, 
it will it's one of those games that properly ends the animation of reloading even though you had the clip partially inserted into the uh, the chamber so it uh, i don't know you know it doesn't they put it down here really ah damn it the position of these things is randomized so i'm gonna have to take it with me lug it all the way upstairs slowly and then shoot it and come back then lug it all the way upstairs again slowly and repeat the process throw it mount it oh load it and mount it come on and one you can tell this is a co-op game because three players are meant to do this at the same time not just one because if you're doing it alone it's it's gonna get boring us so fast so it's fun to play with friends guys yeah it's more fun with friends everything is being kicking the balls is fun with friends i made a show about it about yeah about getting kicked in the balls with friends it's an amazing show it's about being kicked in the balls with friends and i missed no i didn't miss it it's okay come on one more chance one more chance to hit that thing and we can reload and go out of here pick pick it up you can probably tell by my remarks and my tone of voice that i'm very enthusiastic about the odds of this game becoming much much better in the next two weeks or three weeks like i'm i'm absolutely certain it will be one of the best games ever and i think i put it in the wrong thing didn't i this one can't aim no this one cannot aim the the, the where i want it to aim i loaded it on the wrong thing i'm gonna have to go back is there another one here no this one cannot be accessed okay get on the shell i mounted it to the wrong 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 cannon flag turret what's it called now they should show exactly why I'm moving so slowly because I'm not carrying anything in uh, in my arms. This one cannot aim that way either. I'm gonna have to find another one upstairs somewhere. And again, I have no idea where those guys are coming from. They're just jumping like... I, I once saw like four of them jump from here with the same animation, the same direction. It was like one of the worst things you could imagine it, in terms of quality. It was just copy paste copy paste in a very 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 bad way gonna climb up here maybe and find the um uh, the last one of them any nazi gold no nazi gold why is there no nazi gold in this game this one was open for some reason oh come on die already let me guess there's no actual uh aa thing up here oh there is there is no a up here then why did i climb up he up here I was hoping there would be something up here, like Nazi gold or dirt or something, but no, it's... That's meant to be a sniper nest in that you use in case you want to snipe people instead of just shooting them in the face from downstairs. Well, it makes more sense in normal mode where there there's enough enemies to just make you go crazy. Is this one? No. Can't actually do anything with that. Uh, where was the one that I used last time? I can't actually go from there. Hello? Guten Tag, nice to see you. Wouldn't want to be you, because you is not dead. Yeah, I think this one would work. No, this is the same one I tried to shoot last time. Maybe on the other side. I think they're on the other side of the ones I need. Oh yeah, the top one. Well, duh, it indicates... Well, yeah, this was kind of stupid of me, because it does show me the ones that I have to use. See, this one is pointed towards the um towards our base because that's what we want an aa that's pointed towards our base when we defend things now, i do believe they're actually meant to be you know you're, you're supposed to be able to turn them but you can't because if you could just use the one the game would make more sense and it would be less uh, aggravating And it's going to blow up. And no Nazi gold for us, sadly. Gotta say, when you actually don't use the um, the level of brightness that the game's the game comes with by default, it is a lot less annoying because you can actually see where you're going, and it won't induce as many headaches. It's actually better to play it. It doesn't physically injure you while you're playing it, so that's a bonus. Now let's go down before it blows up. 
were I to do this as a stealth mission, I would have a timer for going down because I actually would have set a bomb. The bomb I used to break into this uh, building, I would have actually used to blow up the um, a, a gas main that destroyed the entire building. Nothing here. Hello. I did not see you there. Oh my god, we're running so fast, it's, it's incredible. Can I jump down here like they do? Yes, I can and not die. Good, good. It is very good. Now we're gonna have to escape by going... Uh, well, I only have one bullet left, so I'm gonna make it count. I did not make it count. I uh, just shattered a bit. Okay, let's go. The escape is that way. It's a good thing they opened the door for me. Very nice of them. I could swear this game has a bit of auto-aim by default because I'm pretty sure I didn't actually properly aim when I shot some of these guys. Uh, it's down here. You can see the urgency in my voice. I mean, I know it's easy, but it, it's... I don't think easy actually makes them do less damage. They just, there's just less of them. A lot less. And I'm going to show you how less because we're going to do the next mission on normal. Oh my god, this took 40 minutes. And at the end, depending if you succeed or not, you'd get a picture of uh, a picture, a movie of uh, Hitler either either being very, very happy or very, very sad or angry, like here. This video will not be monetized because, you know, that there's a little Hitler character. There's a swastika in this video. Oh my god, we're gonna be banned. Shadow ban incoming. If you don't see any more videos from us, you'll know what happened. Ooh, I got a uh, extra crate. Bones experience. I don't know what that means. The, the crate just changed. It, it doesn't give you loot or anything. It just changed. But I should have leveled up now. Yes, I have leveled up. Level two proficiencies in this class. You have to do it with other classes to get more stuff. Okay, I'm going to show you the upgrades now. And then we're going to do the next mission as the other class. Now where's the upgrade thing? Have I unlocked any more, new, any more weapons? Uh, come on, where's the radius on this thing? Okay, all the weapons would be this, 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 you know, the stuff I can actually use. I only have one weapon currently. The equipable one. Can I upgrade it? No, 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 no. This is just tire 1 and tire 2. I'm gonna disable the scope on this one just so I can show you how crappy it is without it. Let's go to the... Um... Okay, this. Okay, move, shoot, move fast, shoot fast. Reduce the time to ready weapons after spinning. Useless. Mounted gunner. Useless. Juggler. Reduce the time to switch between weapons. Kind of useless. These are useless upgrades. They're, uh, they're for the most part, most part pointless. They're small, seventy percent. Wow, cool. It that's meaningless. It's god damn it. It's like in Payday Two when you started out with two zip ties and you had to spend a skill to get more. Why the hell do you make stuff like this? Make a progression that actually works, for God's sake. It's not hard. Having ideas is not hard. Everybody can have ideas. Why can't you? You've got the skill to make an actual game. Why do you cheap out on your stuff? Okay, let's go to the next mission. Oh, no, wait. I was supposed to change classes. So let's change classes. Though if I change class, you can see exactly how crappy this is. Well, I'm going to show you how crappy this is in, the, in this environment. See? It still blurs the thing at the end. It tries to discern exactly where I'm aiming and will often not be able to. See, here it sort of does it. Like you can see it switches the focus from the bomb to that one. But in practice, especially because the enemy, the uh, game is very, very dark. Like the color is quite dark. Like I said, I turn up the... The... Um, what do you call it? The black level. I turned down actually to the minimum possible setting. Because of that, uh, it is a bit uh, more playable, but still not as much. Secondary, the Mauser, melee weapon, the knife. Okay, let's go into the bell. Let's fight. And voila. And let's start this. Okay, hunters. In this one, we're going to have to murder everybody. And there again, because the game does give you the option to stealth things, you can do it sneakily. But it's a bit harder because now again, this is abnormal. 
and there will be more enemies to watch out for or stupid enemies to watch out for because they're not all that bright but there's a lot of them and don't underestimate the power of stupid things in small numbers pardon stupid things in large numbers if stupid things were in small numbers the world would be a paradise yeah, I know these camps are out there. I have seen them the last time I have played this. Well, let's actually stabby stabby this guy in the front, of the back, of the neck, of the surface. And voila. Probably leave him here. I can carry the corpse away, but what are the odds of someone else coming around here in this uh, 46 frame, 46 frame a second? Why is it? I think it's the blurring effect. I think the blurring effect is just that goddamn awful and it will drop performance. And it tries to be smart, but again, you can't really zoom out, you can't really discern exactly what you're trying to look at. <sighs> okay, let's go back to the, the knifey. That... It has popping in at this distance and still runs like crap. Oh my god, why is this doing it? Why is this... And this is supposed to be out in three weeks. Okay, three and a half weeks. How is this supposed to be out so soon? Let's pick this up. Not all doing much good if you're found out and killed. No, no fire. No, f I stabbed you in the neck. How do you survive? Oh, there's one more of you. That's why you found me out. And they know we're here. And they're trying to stun the... How many of you guys are there? Have they stunned the alarm yet? He's going to sound the alarm. Well, beat you to it. My god, do you take a lot of bullets. Why is he taking so many bullets? No, I think... I think the robot mode does increase the, the HP of these guys. Otherwise, it doesn't make much sense for them to take so many bullets. And I keep forgetting these guys throw like absolute sissies when it comes to grenades. Okay, so yeah. I stand corrected. They do cause extra damage. And why am I... Oh, why wasn't I shooting? I'm like... Wow, this thing has horrible, 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 horrible recoil. Okay, that's one of them dead. Can I ruin the radio so they won't... Uh, doesn't matter now. No Nazi gold yet. Also saw that uh, you do have the ability to... Uh... God damn it, I missed it. And one more. Voila. Nazi gold! Wait, I, I can't take it with me? Why not? But I want to take it with me. Okay, this this is sad. This is just sad. I wanted to make a pyramid, you know, like the pharaohs, and take it take it all with me. Yeah, like I said, it's brilliant. It, it's just brilliant. Oh, now they're parachuting in. I'm gonna have to throw this somewhere safe and get it later. And shoot these bastards! Come on, one more. Yes. Was this the one that healed me? No, this is the one that made enemies easier to see it. I know there was the ability to be able to po to be able to mark out enemies, but I don't know what the button for it is. I'm not exactly sure what the class for it class it used was either. Let's reload. Oh, there's Nazis behind me. Okay. Clear all camps. Reload. And I'm down. Thing is, the, enemy, the allies can revive me. And I can shoot them while they're trying to. I think it's the same thing as in uh, the other one, the payday game. Come on, shoot them, shoot them, and revive me. Can go down... F I went down for about four times and still didn't die. So it's uh, not all that uh, difficult to live. Re reload, 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 reload. Okay. How are your heads so firmly attached to your bodies? I don't know. 
Because you're bosses, right? You're, you're mini bosses. Okay, that's clear. The thing I like is that you do have to escape, so it's not just go in and get the job done. You do have to get out here, get out too. Let's heal ourselves up with that. Anything? Oh, there's a medikit that I can. No, that's just a bag. And there's someone behind me because they always will spawn everywhere behind you, in front of you. Isn't this the place we started out from? No, wait, that was where I started out the last time. Yes, I know the camps are up there. Don't remind me. Oh, there is. There they are. And there's more of them parachuting in. At least the ones that are parachuting in, you can sort of tell they're coming from somewhere, like they're, they're, they're explaining their presence, but for the most part, they're just there. They exist, they come, and they go, and they, you know. God damn it, just die already. Let's see, where was the last camp? Oh, there's, there's the officer who will do things. I'm not sure exactly what the officers do. But they're important. Like otherwise the game would not mark them out. There's one. Dead. There's Rivet. There's the other guys. I forgot what my, my, my ability did as an insurgent. Wasn't the healing one. It made people harder to hit. Possibly. I forgot where the last camp was. I got lost on the map. Huh. Well, at least I should go and go get back my uh, my cross that I left somewhere out there. Or maybe I found a new one around here. Do they have more Nazi gold? Yes, this is a Nazi gold case. Yes. Where are they shooting from? Oh, everywhere. Because they can't. I'm out of ammo. Okay, let's find that ammo and the key. Oh. What? Oh, yeah. That, that guy is going to die. Hey, can you guys heal me? Because that guy sort of died there. I like the way that they're standing still and waiting for me. Also, after you throw a weapon, after you throw a grenade, you will instantly be able to fire your weapon. Like, it's instantaneous. And he's gonna die in a second. No, we lost a man. We lost Ein Mann. Cross Gott. Mein Gott. Not really, I forgot where the second camp was. Wasn't supposed to be indicated on the map or something. Let's reload this then. See, they're coming from all directions, from outside the map, the area. Let's see. Maybe it's around here somewhere. Clear all camps. Yeah, I'm trying to find the last one. Can't actually see it. Oh, that's a sniper. Okay, well, let's. Can we snipe him? I think I did. Not sure. They haven't busted out the flammable for yet. Okay, that guy was a sniper. Oh, they're shelling us! Cool! Shelling is cool. They haven't shelled me before. That's nice. So you're trying to bump in some variety with the shelling and the heaving and the hoving. And the moving extremely slowly because just like Payday, you have to move slowly when you carry loot. Couldn't find just one bar of gold and stuck it somewhere. No, it had to be an entire thing of a bob. That's heavy, hard to use. And this is where I found the. Uh, this is where I threw the uh, the other thing. The what do you call it? The cross. Maybe the last thing is here. In the last camp. Where is the last camp? Will I find it? Is this show going to go on forever and ever and ever? Is there a map? Can I look at it? No. Is that guy outside of bounds or am I heading the right direction? I don't know. I don't know anything. No, this is this is the place already cleared out. Oh, I just jumped on the other side. Okay, this is the, this is the one I cleared out first. Okay, so oh, you did, it just had two of those identical shacks that were in the same level and the same kind of location. And oh, there's. I threw it all the way up here. Or did the game spawn it here? I'm not sure. Hey, can I? No, I can't pick it up because I already have one. 
Let's see. Oh, die already. Where's this, where's the third base? Many, many youngsters have asked that. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this again, just so I can move faster for a bit. So we cleaned this out, yeah. This was the second base. Oh, crowbar. Cool. Finally opened some other crates. Where's the uh, thing I threw? Put on the road, right? It's supposed to be here. Okay, throw it here. Gonna have to get more ammo. Maybe reload a bit. Oh, this is the exit to the level, so it's not this way, I believe. Okay, let's let's try the thing again. Maybe this is slow motion. Oh, a sniper. Is it here? No, it's not here. Okay, I'm gonna throw this again because I can carry it with me. Should really look at the picture they, they had at the beginning of the mission better. The one where we picked the mission, the thing. And I'm out of ammo again. Maybe they're down here. I've got no clue where they are, so... They gotta be around here somewhere, but I'm not gonna find them in the show. It's already been too long. My opinion of this game, it... Uh, it's a mod made in 2008. I don't know why it's a game. Are oh, they all the way up here? Ah oh, man. No, they're not. I honestly don't see this being a very good game, regardless of John Cleese being in it. He was in uh, Pluto Nash 2, so you know how that worked out. <sighs> it's like Payday, but not as good. And Mario, I don't think Payday was a good game either. Like a very good game. It was okay. And bits and bobs. I'm gonna be back soon with a new uh, play now and more shows of everything that we do have uh, from well, basically constantly every day. Um, can I kill a Nazi? No, I can't. I'm dead. Don't really enjoy much of this game. It it's it spawns enemies like they're zombies, even though they're not zombies. They're supposed to be human beings. They're supposed to have be smarter. They're supposed to you know do stuff that um, it ain't good. It's kind of buggy. Badly optimized. It's uh, probably going to be a huge success, being it's an early access game. Well, it's not early access, but it... actually, is is it early access? It could be early access. Who knows? Maybe. If it is, it'll be even funnier, because it's it's probably going to have immense success on a kind of people wanting to play just crap. Well, I'm out. See you again soon. Goodbye. Where was that last camp, though? Hmm. Look, I found it, and I don't have to wait for two minutes for the escape driver to come. Well, no. Goodbye.